my dear students i welcome you all in the online class of evs children today we are going to study our lesson number 20 crossing bridges but before i start i request you all to open page number 140 of your evs book and be ready to study our lesson crossing bridges children in this lesson we are going to study about what are bridges building bridges types of bridges beam bridge cantilever bridge arc bridge pontoon bridge and suspension bridges we are going to study about these types of bridges in this lesson now first of all i am going to explain you what are bridges and why bridges are important for us bridges are structures built over roads and waterways they help people and vehicles to cross from one side to the other many bridges are also made with railway tracks for trains in big cities flyovers are made to solve the problem of traffic jam in simple word you can say bridges connect people by making traveling from one place to another place easier building bridges the earliest bridges were fallen trees across streams and rivers these were used by the early man to pass from one side to the other in search of food and shelter the next stage of bridge making involved long slabs of stone placed over large rocks or piles of stones in many parts of the world human beings tied ropes of various grasses and hung it as a suspension bridge materials they used were locally available gradually new materials and advanced techniques were used to make longer and stronger bridges bridges are generally made with supports at the two ends of the bridge which hold it in place in the ground the distance between the two ends or supports is called the span of the bridge this works well for shorter bridges longer bridges have pillars in between the two ends children construction of bridges requires a lot of planning big equipments and a large amount of money as well as time to build a bridge a surveyor first identifies the need for the bridge and then accordingly he see the location a plan is made which should be approved by the civic authorities after that engineers and architect select a design which is best for that area children now we are going to study about the types of bridges there are different kinds of bridges in this lesson we are going to study about beam bridges cantilever bridges arc bridges pontoon bridges and suspension bridges beam bridges a beam bridge is the most common and simplest bridge design this is because it is easy to construct more functional and not so costly 
Bean bridges are also known as stringer bridges. Footover bridges and flyovers are examples of beam bridges. The Lake Pontchartrain Causeway in United States is the longest beam bridge over water in the world. Cantilever bridges. Cantilever bridge is made of steel or concrete. It consists of two beams called cantilevers. The famous Havra Bridge in Kolkata built over the river Hooghly is a cantilever bridge. It was built by the British between 1937 and 1943. Arc bridges. Arc bridges are stronger than beam bridges. An arc bridge is made of steel, concrete and bricks. It has a semi-circular structure and many arcs supporting its weight. These arcs have sometimes shops and markets in them. These days still brick and concrete are used to build them. The arc bridge is the agile choice if the foundation of the earth is tough and strong. The Sydney Harbour Bridge in Australia and the Xingwang Bridge in China are examples of arc bridges. Pontoon bridges. Pontoon bridges are made upon many boats that are tied together. These can be rubber boats or single wooden boats. Pontoon bridges are also known as floating bridges. Pontoon bridges are temporary and built during times of war and calamities. A pontoon bridge built over river Yamna in the city of Delhi is used by commuters and light traffic. Suspension bridges. Suspension bridges are suspended with the help of cables and ropes attached to huge stars of concrete and steel. These bridges hang from ropes, cables and chains over rivers and streams. Earlier, these types of bridges were made of wood. They were not made to carry the weight of heavy traffic or trains. The Ram Jula in Rishikesh is a suspension bridge. In modern suspension bridges, large chains are strung through the pillars to make them sturdy so that they can take the weight of heavy traffic and trains. The Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco in the United States is an example. Though suspension bridges are more expensive and complicated, they can be built over a great distance. Now children, related to this lesson, I have given you some questions that you have to write in your rough copy. Question number one. Which country has the highest number of bridges? Question number two. In which countries are the world's longest and tallest bridges located? Question number three. Write the name of 10 different types of bridges made over rivers in India. In question number three, you have to write the type of those bridges which are built over rivers in India and you have to write the name of the river also on which river those bridges are built. 
I hope children you all have understood the lesson. That's all for this lesson. Thank you students.